We start in Crane, where for weeks now, Crane ISD has been in the national spotlight for a supposed chlamydia outbreak. A letter was sent to parents stating that several cases have been reported among students, only to find out that there were only three cases that had been reported in the county. The national conversation, though, is now prompting the school district to reassess their sex education programs. CBS 7's Lauren Landman was at the board meeting this evening. She joins us now with the latest. For years, the Crane Independent School District has functioned off of an abstinence based sex education program that was taught three days each year. The national attention has started the conversation among school district officials that maybe the sex education program needs to be revamped. Tonight, the school board was scheduled to talk about just that, a change to the sex education program and the adoption of a new curriculum that could be used in high school, junior high, and even elementary classrooms. The school's health advisory committee was set to speak at tonight's meeting. However, the group has decided to continue researching for a few more weeks before coming to a decision. Regardless, the school superintendent says, although the news has bruised the district's image, there is some positive. It's kind of made people aware of, you know, some things that are going on uh, in the in the world today. You know, of course, my thinking on the whole thing is if if this helps one child, if it saves one child, then it was worth the heartache that we've had. The next school board meeting is scheduled to be on June 9th. Mr. Rummage says that's when he believes there will be a change to the school's policy. Reporting in Crane, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.